FAO is supporting countries to contain the spread of foodborne antimicrobial resistance through the implementation of guidelines and a code of practice that were elaborated by the Codex Alimentarius. The Action to Support Implementation of Codex AMR Texts, or ACT project, is funded by the Republic of Korea and is being implemented in six countries. Cambodia, Colombia, Mongolia, Nepal, Pakistan and the plurinational state of Bolivia. Codex has developed three important guidelines to contain foodborne AMR. First, guidelines on risk analysis of foodborne AMR. Second, guidelines on integrated monitoring and surveillance of foodborne AMR. And the last one is the code of practice to contain and minimize antimicrobial resistance. Uh, today, I'm happy to present Codex and its relation to foodborne AMR and that project. We have identified three areas of work. First, raising awareness, especially to the producers, veterinarians, and governments. Second, we support the countries establish national surveillance systems. Lastly, we support strengthen regulatory framework for antimicrobial resistance. They are very interlinked. These pillars of the project are mutually reinforcing and reflect the guidance in the Codex texts. Together, they strengthen a country's capacity to enforce the necessary approaches of responsible and prudent antimicrobial use. By improving surveillance and monitoring, authorities can identify in which sectors action is most needed to combat foodborne AMR. With such data, targeted regulations and legal instruments can be put in place and awareness programs developed aimed at those actors along the food chain who can help eliminate imprudent use of antimicrobials. The ACT project specifically helps countries identify the challenges they need to overcome to make this possible. We have seen some recurring challenges across the different countries. For instance, for the implementation of codex standards under truly multi-sectoral uh, One Health approach, um, it is frequent that different ministries find uh, challenges to coordinate, to set up mechanisms that allow them to share data, to um, undertake activities together. And this is something truly important for a proper and uh, comprehensive implementation of codex standards. To help this come about, FAO developed the ACT tool, which enables countries to determine where their regulatory frameworks and governance structures can improve to ensure effective implementation of the Codex AMR texts. The ACT tool provides a list of questions that evaluate the country's legal uh, framework, but also the processes and procedures and, uh, and mechanisms for surveillance to monitor how uh, the code of practice, but also other standards of codex related to AMA and other general standards are implemented at the national level. In the plurinational state of Bolivia, the government has responded to the findings of the ACT tool by establishing a Committee for the Containment of Antimicrobial Resistance, or CCRAM. The committee is made up of representatives from across the public and private sectors that are involved in producing food and governing its safety. In just its second meeting, the committee was already looking at whether tightening regulation through e-prescriptions would be a feasible approach to addressing data gathering challenges. Si tuviéramos los datos de el uso de antimicrobianos de manera electrónica, podemos usarlo, podemos generar reportes si ellos estuvieran de manera electrónica. Eh, los datos, la evidencia es desde dónde avanzar en tomar mejores decisiones y facilitar la inteligencia sanitaria. La CCRAM, este comité de, de contención de la RAM en sector de sanidad agropecuaria e, e inocuidad alimentaria, es un espacio de conversación. La, y, el, y la herramienta, el, el informe de la herramienta, les permite identificar 
qué legislación, eh, dónde existen brechas, donde existe distancia entre la legislación nacional y el estándar internacional de Codex que ellos quisieran fortalecer. Uno de los temas que han abordado en estos días de trabajo la CSRAM ha sido empezar a, a, a conversar acerca de eh, incorporar la receta médico-veterinaria electrónica como una herramienta eh, de mitigación de la RAM. Vitally. Through use of the ACT tool, the government of Bolivia has reinforced the need for a One Health approach to combating foodborne AMR in line with the Codex Code of Practice. All sectors are represented and contribute to the discussion. Los objetivos principales es poder establecer este comité de contención y, y concientizar al productor directamente. Uh -huh. Trabajar con los diversos sectores productivos, tanto porcinos, avícolas, eh, bovinos que estamos, que estamos iniciando y, bueno, y difundir esto y radiar a, a los otros sectores también. And now, with the successes of the initial phase of the ACT tool, FAO is looking to develop it further. In this first phase of implementation of the ACT tool, we have primarily focused on what's written in the law, to check how well prepared countries are to incorporate international recommendations into their legislation. But we have noticed that in many countries, um, the legislation is there, but the, the, it's, it's, not, it's not fully implemented. It does not uh, has the, have the impact that um, countries really need. So the, what we are planning is to try to focus a bit more on the compliance and enforcement of existing legislation. And this is something that we have in mind, um, also maybe for a future phase of the project. <music>